Hey Foreverlies, it is just Maddie in this video and I am so excited for today's video. Um, I feel like this is something that's genuinely gonna be really fun and it also might lower my self-confidence a lot, but honestly what video doesn't? Karens are coming for me. The boomers are coming for me. Nothing against boomers, but just Karens are coming for me. And if your name is Karen, nothing against you, but like Karens are coming for me. Like, you know what I mean by Karens. Like, PTA mom, I'll kick you off the PTA if you're wearing fake Lululemons. Like, my son is better than your son. He went to um, a preschool that cost $100,000 a month. Like, those type of moms. Just people who are all about themselves and just have kids to stunt. But, like, can I speak to the manager type people? And there is a site absolutely full of them just Karens I'm gonna be okay so there's this site called YouTube mama drama which is literally the worst thing I've ever seen in my life like it's hilarious how all these middle-aged women come on here and talk crap about people who share their life online like first of all if you're sharing your life online it's not all realistic so, like, if some one little thing happens in a video, that's like 10 minutes out of my 24-hour day. Like, it's not me as a person. So, um, we're just gonna read what the Karens have said about me. And, yeah, I was on here the other day, and I mentioned this in a video before, and y'all wanted me to talk about it and I literally I had no idea that I could even film this like I was so excited because I didn't have the idea to like film a video talking about what they said they talk crap about like literally all the YouTube moms so we are clicking on this and y'all will be following along with me right here to see what the Karens are saying okay so First ones are nice, like they're just saying, I hope, she's a pretty young girl, I'm glad she's raising her baby, it's sad how the father has never seen the baby in person besides when they went to court, this was a long time ago, somebody said, oh, Mooney Extreme Gossiper said, I hated that she showed her baby's butt on camera, I don't know why parents are comfortable having that kind of footage out on the internet, Mooney, you are a pervert, like, it's a baby's butt. Dang. Mooney is an extreme gossiper. And a child molester, apparently, because she doesn't want to see my child's butt. I don't know who would sexualize a baby's butt. Oh, somebody apparently exposed my butt and private regions. No idea what that even means. Okay, this one was recent. It said, honestly, I would love to see these excuses. And there is, oh, it does not exist. Something said, I'm a Christian, but my God, that is one of the corniest things I've ever heard. I left out loud when I saw that. If you're a Christian, why are you making fun of people on the internet? You know, judgment is a sin, and so is gluttony. The old boy iced coffee thinks Everly has Down syndrome. She has not been diagnosed. <laughs> because she never takes her to the doctor because it's too expensive and would cut into her spending money. These people seriously have no idea what goes on in my, in my life. Like, I take Everly to the doctor all the time. I literally paid $1,000 to take her to urgent care the other day. Like, each doctor's visit, I take her all the time. I don't care how much it costs. My child needs medical attention. I mean, I don't know why these people just jump to conclusions saying I don't take care of my child, I don't get her medical attention because it's expensive. Like I don't care how much her medical care costs. I paid $500 for a vaccine. Like I could have just said nope not doing it, not vaccinated her, but I care about my child and her health. So I paid the money and got her health care and I continue to get her health care, Karen. And cut into my spending money. I mean, I do do videos of shopping, but that's for videos. I don't always shop like that. Like, when I do shop extremely, it's for videos. Most of the time, I'll just go to Target, get a few candles, get Everly some stuff. 
I rarely spend money on myself. I'm telling you. Like, the other day I got a homecoming dress. I got it for $23. Like, these people seriously know nothing. And it just proves, like, how you shouldn't take hate to heart because they know nothing about your life. Like, at all. Because all this information on here is just stupid. Okay, fueled by iced coffee. Dang. Um, she says... I have no problem pointing out when she does something good and praising her when needed, but sorry, I don't think you're an amazing mom because you fed your daughter chocolate instead of lunch. However, I am proud she got her license and hopes she ditches her leech of a mother soon. My mom's not a leech. Edited to add, brush your hair, it takes literal seconds and would make a world of differences. I brushed my hair, you're welcome, fueled by iced coffee, who doesn't even have her real name on here. So she's literally hiding behind a screen name. And, um, everybody on here probably is a loser with no life. This person has 142 posts. I mean, that's a lot of posts. If all her posts are this long, no life. And my mom has a life. Definitely. She has four kids that she takes care of. She doesn't sit on her phone all day and talk crap about people on the internet. I do not recall feeding my daughter chocolate instead of lunch. I always feed her lunch. And if I showed on my video that I was feeding her chocolate, she probably got lunch shortly after. Okay, everybody thinks my mom's a leech. My mom's literally been in like three of my videos. How would you know what goes on with my mom? Okay, so work towards your education. I cannot stress how much how important that is. It's disgusting how your leech of a mother doesn't support you in that. Then again, she's a leech. Definitely not. Okay, so I guess they think I should do my education, and apparently these people don't watch my videos because I am continuing my education. I'm getting my GED and going to college. If anything, people who think I should finish my entire high school year are dumb because I would have to go through three years of school when I could go through three months of GED study and get my GED and start college and start working towards my education. People will say, oh no, you won't get in a good college if you get your GED because it's not equivalent. But what I'm going to do, you see, if they see your GED, they're going to say, oh, she has a GED. And then they're going to look at your other scores. So they're going to look at my SAT score. They're going to look at my other test scores that I have to take and my college grades because I'm starting out in a community college where anybody can go even if you got a GED and I'm going to get good grades there then I'm going to continue on with my college in a different college like maybe TCU, a and I honestly my goal is to go to Stanford online but you never know these people probably have their high school diploma and are stay-at-home mothers with their rich husbands. I'm actually going to get a degree. I am going to do, I am going to have a career, but right now I am making enough money to support myself and Everly, and I do not see the need to rush for my career, especially since I have enough in savings to fall back on if I need to. I don't go into my savings and these people are like, oh my god, how is Maddie broke? Like, I don't dive into my savings every time I'm struggling. If I need to live off $200 for a few months, I can. But... Oh god. These people are just like, this is honestly insane. People say it's sickening when I'm always flaunting about eating out, buying child clothes or whatever, and doing hauls. That is tacky. People request hauls. Like, literally, I've said so many times in videos, I don't really like doing hauls because I don't like to brag about buying stuff. And people are like, oh my gosh, we want to see hauls, though. We want to see what you got. So I do hauls. And bragging about eating lunch. If I'm vlogging and I go somewhere to eat, I'm going to say, hey, guys, we're eating lunch. I'm not going to say, so this meal was $50. We got the um, large miso tofu. I'm not going to. That's not what I do. I just say, hey, guys, we're eating lunch. I don't brag about going out to eat. We've seen it over 200 times on your videos. I show my everyday things. If I'm shopping, I'm going to show that. And I don't... When I do extreme shopping, it's for videos. Like hauls. For videos. I spent $200 on this. For a video. And I make that money back. From the video. I earn profits. From the video. See? YouTube is a job. It's not just... I'm going to post myself spending money for no reason. It's I'm going to post myself spending money because if people like to see this, then I will earn back the money that I spent plus profits. 
Fourth, we get it. Being a teen mom is hard. Sleepless nights, stress, mental illness. Don't let that overcome who you are. Your maturity level has changed so drastically and not in a good way. They act like they talk to me every day. Like, okay, yeah. Um, mad, mad's a dum dum. Oh, mad's a dum dum. Thank you. Um, my maturity has not dropped at all. I am 16, raising a two year old with a full time job, I'm working on getting my GED. I'm sorry if I don't seem like I'm 30 in my videos sometimes. I like to express myself. And if my maturity level seems dropped to you, I am so dearly sorry. They really think my mom leeches off of me. And no, don't assume we're on our fourth or fifth marriage. Unlike you, we don't put our lives out to the public sometimes. Some aren't even married or have kids. Some have an amazing life with their husband and kids. You can't say that, but our close circles and the way we live speaks louder than these posts. As with yours, it's public and you choose to do so. Therefore, facts are spotted and opinions are easily formed. Okay, so they don't share their entire life to the public, but they come on here and talk crap about random people that they don't know. So technically, I could say I don't share all my life to the public. There could be aspects of my life that are completely private that nobody knows about. And there is. To say, to make all these assumptions is unfair, really, just because, I mean, it's unfair to say this just because they're forming judgments on me and I can come right back and form, the, form those judgments on them just by what they said. It's literally scientific reasoning to have a hypothesis about something. I can't say that. Hypothesis. My hypothesis is that all of these people are miserable because they're on here talking bad about other people. I mean, I used to be one of those girls that was rude to other people and tore other people down just for the hell of it. But I bettered myself and I am no longer like that. The only reason that I ever did that is because I hated myself and I was miserable with myself so I wanted other people to feel the same way and hence I have been through that. I feel like these 30 year old ladies also hate themselves. So honestly get in some self care, love yourself, I'll pray for this whole entire form because lord these people need help. But I can make assumptions as well based on what people say. Okay. Fruit Loops 3 said, I feel like you're a YouTuber, I feel like if you're a YouTuber and get big like a million subs, you should be ready for criticism, which I am, and I take that willingly. When there's people on here saying, I don't parent my child, I'm gonna address those rumors and squash them, because I am a good mom. Like, that's the one thing I pride myself in. I have been a horrible person in my past, but the one thing I've never been bad at is being a mom. That's, like the one thing I pride myself in. Okay, somebody said, not all of them are going to appreciate her keeping Everly all up all night, feeding her chocolate, exposing her to pedophiles, never reading to her, etc. How do these people know I never read to her? I guess these people just have eyes everywhere. Where are the cameras? How did, how did they know? How would these random people know that I never read to Everly? Why would I just come on my vlog and be like, Hey guys, just thought y'all should know I read to Everly every single night. Like, I'm not gonna do that. I do read to my daughter, and I don't let her stay up all night, and I don't feed her chocolate all the time. I act like everybody is so old, but really, I'm just a child. Okay, so these people are saying, I need to grow up, and I need to get more mature. And then they're saying I'm just a child? Which one do y'all want me to do? Grow up or be a child? Because honestly, my opinions I would consider are grown up and my maturity is grown up. Might not always show, like when I'm burnt out and filming a video, maybe I don't seem mature. That's probably because I'm having a rough day and dealing with a lot of things. Like, I'm not just coming on here to shut down every piece of criticism I get. Like, I'm here to say so these people are literally speaking bullshit about everything and I'm going to tell people that this is not true. And honestly this site is just, the entire thing, or just, the entire site is just so sad. Dang, this Fruit Loops person is on a lot. It made me laugh when Maddie said that we're just a bunch of women that are on our third and fourth, third or fourth, not third and fourth, dang maybe she needs to go back to school, that don't take care of our kids. I'm not even married with kids yet. That should have been a comma right there. It seems like she thinks we're just bitter people. I'm living a good life at the moment. 
and she's the you can't put a comma in front of and okay fruit loops you really need to go back to school these people are telling me i need to go back to school but they can't even finish a paragraph without the proper punctuation or spelling for that matter they think i'm bitter because i'm literally 16 with an almost two year old that's trying to be an adult and a teen at the same time my age might be in the teenage years but i definitely am not trying to be a teenager I went to a homecoming dance, that's like the one teenager -y thing I've done, but other than that, I am raising my daughter and not trying to be a teenager. Like I'm being a mom. Okay, so somebody says, really hope this is just a heat rash and not from some kind of lack of care. Um, the images never load for me. Oh, yeah, that is molluscum contagiosum. I have talked about that multiple times on my channel. It is a viral infection or it is viral and it spreads from like one bump to multiple it takes one to clear two years to completely clear up it takes the body about six months to a year to even recognize that the molluscum is foreign and get rid of it and send like everything to attack it and get rid of it and it is not something i can control and there is no way to get rid of it unless i was to put everly under cosmetic surgery to get rid of her bumps such as freezing them off which I am not going to put my child through just so she doesn't look like she has bumps on her arm. They're clearing up and actually getting a lot better and should be gone within a year. So this is not from a lack of care. People say this all the time. They're like, oh my god, what did you do to your baby? What's wrong with her arm? It's molluscum. A lot of kids get it. And it's normal. People try to treat it with over-the-counter stuff and it never works. But it's normal and I am not mistreating my child. Oh my gosh, somebody said, and the fact Maddie bays with Everly is disgusting considering Maddie can get a mol the molluscum literally anywhere, including between her legs. I don't care if I get molluscum from my child. I like to take baths with my daughter. It is a bonding time for us. We love to play with the toys and take a bath together. And I... Couldn't care less if I got molluscum, honestly. I've been around her with it the whole time. I'm not just gonna freaking put her in a bubble and say, don't touch me. Where does Everly sleep? Maddie co-sleeps with her. She co-everything with her. Co-sleeping, co-bathing, co-eating, co-shitting. When you have a child, they're kind of like, I don't know, like part of you because you were pregnant and then you gave birth to them. So you guys kind of have like a, I don't know, like unbreakable bond so it we do things together which is a really foreign concept apparently because i guess a lot of people are just dropping their kids off at daycare to talk crap on a youtube form but yes i do do things with my daughter thank you for noticing we co-sleep co-bathe co-eat co-shit she actually has a toilet right next to the big one so we can take poops together it's really fun actually no hate to the people on there i mean honestly it's really sad to see people just on there talking crap about people they say like I have my life online too so there's nothing I can complain about but having my life online as much as I love like making videos and talking to y'all it's my job and it's not like I choose to just go online and talk crap about people which is literally what they're doing and then they're coming for me for feeding my child chocolate in a vlog a lot of it is just ridiculous baseless accusations and people just saying brush your hair and I don't know it's all just kind of ridiculous to me and um hopefully this cleared some rumors up if y'all believed any of that yes i will see y'all in the next video i hope you enjoyed this video um once again no hate to the people just get a life honestly but thank you for watching make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you all for watching i will see y'all in the next video bye